Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have just informed the board about my visit to Iran at the weekend, during which I had talks with President Rouhani and other senior officials, as well as members of parliament. I told the board that significant progress has been achieved in the implementation of the roadmap. I reported on my visit to the particular location at the parting site, which, as I have said many times, is important in order to clarify issues related to possible military dimensions to Iran's nuclear program. Deputy Director General Vajiranta and I went to the site on Sunday. This was the first time that the agency had visited the location. We entered a building which the agency had previously only been able to observe using satellite imagery. Inside the building, we saw indications of recent renovation work. There was no equipment in the building. Our experts will now analyze this information and we will have discussions with Iran in the coming weeks, as foreseen in the roadmap. As I have stated in my reports to the board, the extensive work that has been conducted at the location since early 2012 undermines the agency's ability to conduct effective, effective verification there. Before our visit, certain IAEA safeguards activities were carried out at the particular location at the parting site. These included the taking of environmental samples. Taking sample is a complex process. As a result of experience gained over the years, the agency has, in certain circumstances, permitted state's representatives to carry out activities in support of the agency's verification work. This is done in a way that ensures that the agency's verification process are not compromised. In the case of Pachin, the Iranian side play a part in the sample taking process by swiping samples. The agency can confirm the integrity of the sampling process and the authenticity of the samples which were taken at places of interest to the agency at the particular location in Pachin. Authentication by the agency of the samples was achieved through use of an established verification process. The process was carried out under our responsibility and monitoring. The samples have been brought to Vienna and will be analyzed by agency experts. Ladies and gentlemen, the implementation of the roadmap has reached an important phase. Verification activities at the parting site were conducted in a manner consistent with our standard safeguards practice. All the information obtained is now being assessed by the agency. However, much work remains in the weeks ahead. Full implementation of the roadmap is essential to clarify all outstanding past and present issues regarding Iran's nuclear program, as set out in the annex to my report of November 2011. Thank you. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as the Director General mentioned, uh, we have over the years allowed member states under certain circumstances to do certain verification activities. However, we are always very cautious to ensure that all these activities never compromise the work that we are doing. I can mention to you that uh, over the years we have uh, cooperated in this manner with member states coming from over 40 different member states. Sample taking is a complex exercise 
and it consists of a variety of important elements. Let me just summarize for you 12 of the main elements. Firstly, the process has to follow our detailed written instructions and procedures. Nothing else is possible. Secondly, the determination of the spots where the samples are taken is a separate important cautious activity. Spots have to satisfy our requirements. Thirdly, there are specific requirements for equipment to be used. Our sampling kits, also containers, seals, camera systems, GPS systems, a lot of these kind of things. Fourthly, everything is always tested. Components, systems, to see that they also work before they are implemented. Fifth, we always carry out risk assessment. Risk assessment to see where vulnerabilities might be and eliminate these vulnerabilities. If they can't be eliminated, we can't proceed. Sixth, peer reviews. These are always independently peer reviewed in order to ensure the quality of the results. Seventh, we always train each and every individual for each and every step. All the activities individuals take have to comply fully and in detail with our written procedures. Ninth, the actual swiping or other sample taking. And as I mentioned, following in an accurate manner all the steps that we have. Ten is then transporting the uh, samples to us. And in this case, as the Director General mentioned, the transportation has taken place and the samples are in Vienna. In addition, the, custody, the chain of custody that we know from the samples from the early source until the end of the process plays a crucial part. Any interruption in the chain of custody stops the process and it has to be started then again. Only after this we get into the analysis part, which will take several weeks, because we don't want to have any doubts about the results of the analysis. And last but not least, the results and reporting the results. From all this verification point of view, with the participation of Iran's representatives in one of these 12 elements, we feel fully confident that the process and the results so far are fully in line with our safeguards practices. And so far, the authenticity has been fully assured. Thank you.